welcome to ATV News. I'm Shalama Lawson with your daily update. Coming up in the program, we meet a former boxing champion who now finds himself living in poverty. More and more people are finding opportunities to get work as clowns in Zimbabwe. We have a report on the often dangerous role of the Harare Street Cleaner. And we catch up with music star Knox at his gig in Manchester. The 1998 former Commonwealth lightweight boxing champion Alfonso Mosquito Zwenyeka is now leading a miserable life. ATV tracked down Mosquito to his home in the high-density suburb of Mbari. Former Zimbabwe Commonwealth flyweight boxing champion Alfonso Zwenyeka is now living in abject poverty despite working the limelight some 14 years ago. Zwenyeka rose to fame in 1998 after knocking out Scottish boxer Poor way in a flyweight Commonwealth boxing match which was held in Scotland. In an interview with ATV at his home in Bari, Mosquito talks about his life. I'm a father of eight. I'm a father of eight. My son is, uh, is about 19 years of age. He's turning 19 now, he's about 18. And uh, my second born and my last born, he went with his mother, he's about uh, two months. He's a boy. Yes, and uh, I'm the brother winner and I'm looking after my, my young brother as well, you know, and uh, the house, you know, everything is need me to be there, you know, because so, I'm, 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 I'm a father, you know, so I'm looking for assistance, help for, for the champion to look after himself, you know. The former boxing champion dispelled rumors that he is gravely ill. I had an injury on my leg. But I wanted to keep on fighting, but until the Boxing Board of Zimbabwe, they decide to give me a license for promoter, trainer, you know, which I'm doing now. And I put another two fights, which is uh, last year, but one in the last year. During the interview, Mosquito was not shy to talk about his fall from stardom. His training kit is now worn out, but that does not deter him from engaging in training sessions. Recently, Mosquito's fan and former boxer Fred Frank came to his rescue and paid his electricity debt for 11 years. The son to me, well, it's not to say what I've done for him, it's what we've done for each other. Okay, he had his personal problems, we have nurtured him, and you know, whether it's from the personal side, from his house, you know, out into his well being in life, I've tried to assist just as. A thank you for what he's done for me. Mosquito is now regarded as an ambassador of boxing in Bari, where he even offers free training to children in and around the suburb. Meanwhile, residents in his neighborhood appealed to 12 wishers to assist the once famous boxer. Champion Mosquito, that's that the moon I get on Kurundia government, or Imuye Uke. I the moon at Mukwachi Dream from Yahe Boxing. So, moon I got with a champion, I got with a Fumumuni. Nizagaita, <laughs> Zhenika is appealing to the government to assist him and honor him for raising the Zimbabwean flag high during his heydays. Clowning as a career in Zimbabwe used to be dominated by white people, but now things are changing as more and more people are embarking on careers as clowns. We went to see them at work. Many black Zimbabweans are now taking up clowning, a profession that was previously dominated by whites. These clowns often entertain children at parties and other functions. 
many black Zimbabweans are now embracing clowns. Akana ka ni kutiso ni kana tika ndi sova na we misus tuno kuna kutitiri kubasa vana vachifara ukoko. Zana zigija ni zana zinjaga na kapozi. Dara feda na harungu. Iko zuni zizagida na na tema bra zuni nda tena wana we do. In an interview with ATV, a Harare clown, Fungai Takoza, popularly known as Ajiki, just said in the past the industry was difficult to penetrate. When I break in the industry, when I get into the industry, it was a very big challenge to me. On the sense of that, I was black. Most people thought uh, only clowns were only white. So, but I admit, I faced the challenge by I would paint totally, really every part of my body where I feel like that can be seen by anyone could be white. Another popular clown in Ulawayo, Wiseman Chigwenese, described how he rose to fame. I started as a painter. Whilst I was doing also roving. I was doing roving for ATM catering owned by Munetsi. And now I'm doing it for myself. I'm not a clown, I'm not a face painter, I'm not a balloonologist. Both clowns said their careers were inspired by another famous clown, Jojo the Clown, who is now based in Israel. Clowns are known for wearing colored wigs, stylistic makeup, outlandish costumes, usually large footwear and red nose. While clowning may be a relatively new phenomenon among black Zimbabweans, its origins can be traced back to Egypt. Sweeping the streets of Harare is not an easy job, with the risk of being hit by a car or contracting diseases through handling garbage. Yet every day, brave men and women continue to give the city a service. The life of a street cleaner has its exciting and distressing moments. For Sarah Majaja, 828, a street cleaner, life starts at 4 a.m. when she wakes up to prepare to go to work in the city. Majaja spends many hours sweeping along the edges of roads, carefully avoiding parked cars and pedestrians in the heavily congested part of Ferrari. It is not a ride of fun and excitement. The huge amounts of rubbish she sweeps from the streets every day often include human waste among other things. <laughs> Street cleaning poses many health risks to the sweepers. Some daring people even hail human waste in kailites and plastic bags into the streets. Her workmate Juliana Munjoma, age 36, echoed similar sentiments. Moto in Ungobatis were up, Macad books, Mastiffkins, and Nora Arabic Veranda. They say she needs a son of Junoto to bat out, so two days I get it, but they are all the allowance. You two, Sajosangana, and Sasha Kais, and Sweet, my road, my two child. But at times, the atmosphere they work is tingling in full of drama. The cracking of jokes, gossip, public fights, accidents, and thief chasing scenes may all bring some lighter moments in their daily work. And one can only hope people will never ignore those who are working so hard to keep our environment clean. Urban Groove's artist Knox came to Manchester to perform a special concert for the Zimbabwe community. He took time out to tell ATV about his time in England and the challenges he has faced when breaking into the music industry. Well, thanks for welcoming me. Uh, UK is like my second home. You know? I mean, the, uh, 
uh, it's like my fourth time now being here, and I feel very happy and very appreciative, you know, of the support that I'm getting from my UK fans. And uh, I'm just hoping that it's going to continue on that note, and I promise never to disappoint you guys. I'm going to be giving you out uh, brand new songs as well, pretty soon, and uh, if you thought Ndunonyara was the best song, you haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> My breakthrough came in 2003 when uh, I released a song called Iwe Maria, which actually saw my breakthrough. And from there, it's been, you know, uh, uh, forward never. It's been up, uh, like a downhill, you know, everything has been nice and proper. That's all we have time for today. Please keep sending in your pictures to our ATV Facebook page. Today's winning picture comes from Steady Piri. Thank you for joining us. Have a pleasant evening.